Hello there guys and welcome back. This is Science Also. I have done two study tip videos and this is the third one. I will put the link in the description for the others. Okay, let's jump straight into this. This technique was developed and practiced by university student in early 1990s named Francisco Cirillo. As a university student, he used his tomato shaped timer to track his work. After that, his time tracking study method has gained popularity as Pomodoro technique. This technique helps you to fight procrastination. Actually, it's helpful. I used it in my studies also. A big task can be broken down into short time intervals called Pomodoros, separated by 5 minute breaks. This method is so much easy to start with. All you need is a timer. Yeah, you can use a phone or even a clock. There are five major steps in doing this. Let's go through them. Step number one, pick a task. Simple, right? Okay, so you are using this on studying, right? So the task is studying science today. Get ready with the books on the table. Step number two, take the timer and set a time of 25 minutes, not 24, not 26, exactly 25 minutes. Okay, now after setting the timer, keep it aside. Step number three, Work on your task until the time is up. Never look at the timer during study. Only focus on your book. Keep on the focus for a whole 25 minutes and never let your brain wander off. If you are feeling stressed, if you can't focus, you remember things like uh, blah blah blah. Uh, then I want you to do is close your eyes and imagine what you are thinking is happening the way you want. Just keep on the focus straight for the 25 minutes. Step number 4. So you kept your timer for 25 minutes, right? Okay, it will ring after 25 minutes. So how you must take your 5 minute rest? During the rest time, do not use your smartphone. Instead, take a walk outside, stretch your hands, drink some water and hydrate yourself. Come back to the table and repeat these 4 steps. Step number 5. So after doing 4 such Pomodoros, which means 25 minutes, then again 25 minutes, again 25 minutes and again 25 minutes. You need to rest for whole 20 minutes. Take this 20 minute break to restore yourself and energize. Maybe you can take your lunch or the breakfast during this time. So at the end of the day, you can count the number of Pomodoros you have done. And you can be proud of yourself that you have completed today's study session. Yay! Good for you! That's all for the technique. So how effective is this? For starters, this is a really good tactic if you cannot remember what you are studying. The things you study will be retained in your brain easily due to those 5 minute breaks. If you want to increase your marks, try using this Pomodoro technique. I bet it will help you. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button and press on the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos we upload. See you guys soon in another interesting video. Until then, bye bye.